Welcome back to everybody to a yet another run through of the regular story mode. So this is actually episode seven. Uh, we left off. It's been a while since I've come back to this, um, but uh, there's been a lot going on. As you know, the exploration uh, expedition, expedition, expedition redux has been happening in the last several weeks. So we're in the midst of uh, doing those. I have some time off work, so I thought I'd get a couple of these regular playthroughs going, getting going as well. Uh, I got some other recordings I'm going to do today to go along with this. But I wanted to get at least one more episode of this done, and over the next few days I'll be getting some more of them done and spreading them out over the next couple of weeks so you'll be able to see what's going on. <clears throat> so as you know, we were trying to get some things done here. I wanted to install the Voltaic Amplifier, which is going to require basalt, but we couldn't find any. I have found that there are planets that have basalt on them that have deposits of them instead of just in the plants themselves. So we're probably going to have a little bit of a tough time finding it. So I'm not going to make it a primary goal as we go through the story mode, as we find planets. If I see one that's supposed to have basalt on it, I'm going to go ahead and drop a landing there and check it out real quick. So we'll get that done. So for now, we're going to continue on the regular story mode. Now, the regular story mode has these three main paths, as we talked about. Going through alone amidst the stars is pretty much where we're going to go. We can do the other two later, uh, the, this one, the uh, Atlas pass, uh, Path, and then the Space Anomaly later on. The Exploration Guide is really just something to help you explore uh, flora and fauna on planets and discover different things about the planet, which are pretty cool if you're really into that. Uh, base computer archives is something you want to do at some point throughout the whole thing because you can 100% that and then get free uh, updates and upgrades and nanites and things like that afterwards so it's good to hit that every now and then under the timer so if I select it wait just a moment you'll notice that the computer is now highlighted new archives decrypted so let's go check that out hello computer A little rough on the voice today. Recovered archive. Hang on a second. <clears throat> Pardon me. All right, there we go. Input recovery pass key to proceed. Now, I haven't gone across that depth that yet. So let's go ahead and just choose one. I'm going to choose Viking, just because. Recovered archive encrypted. Input recovery pass key to proceed. I'm going to go pathetic. Doesn't make a difference. Encrypted. Proceed. Death. This is really weird. Interloper. Um, I've never run across this before. I've already chose all three of those. I chose death again that time. I've never had to do that before. That's new. 4925 follows. My exosuit has directed me to a crashed starship. Controls react to my touch, and I can only assume it belongs to me. Now, those <clears throat> little blurbs of KZZKT and stuff like that just means that it's... Um, think of it like static bursts in a message that you're listening to. Uh, that you can't hear them for just a couple moments. Okay. No memory of it, no sense of a before. Additional data available. Construction logs recovered. Blueprints reassembled and prepared for download. So we'll grab those. Exosuit technology data extracted, downloading plans. Personal upgrade module synthesized from data scraps. Readable archive retrieval complete. Beginning of defragmentation of next segment. And you leave. So it tells you what you've got. It, gave, it obviously gave me something, first of all. It gave me this upgrade module. I'm going to go ahead and put it in for now. I could, I could save it, but I'm going to go ahead and put it in because it's handy. It gives us a mineral analysis reward. No big deal. It's just an upgrade. You can get those as you go along. Some of them, like this one, gives us flora and fauna upgrades. They're not great. It looks like 2,700% and 1,029% is pretty good, but uh, regular S-Class upgrades can give you sometimes six, seven, eight thousand percent increases in scanning things. What does that mean? Basically, it just means that when you scan an element or a rock or something like that, which if I can find a rock to scan, I will. 
uh, plant life. It's always going to be plant life. Let me just take a look around real quick. Oh, huh, little cave there. Will that let me scan it? No. That rock right there. So we scan it. Instead of getting the 200 or 300, we're getting 2991. I can't scan any animals or I would. I've already scanned the trees and most of the vegetation. Oh, this vegetation I haven't. So the other one had a higher percentage. Let's read that. 8,000 units, which is nice. When you're talking, you, sell, you already have 17 million. So it really doesn't make too, too much of a difference. We really need to upgrade this bad boy one of these days. <clears throat> so yeah, it looks like we have a slit in the ground for a cave. I'm curious. Uh, not much of one. But it leads to a bigger chamber, it looks like. Huh, fascinating. Underground hidey hole. Isn't that neat? Well, anyway. So we got a good amount of elements. It looks like we've upgraded our exosuit pretty far, as you can see. And we're continuing to upgrade it as time goes by. So we're in good shape as far as that's concerned. I've got everything placed where it needs to be. So, let's move on. That's a pretty cool little cave, though. All right, so now that we're done with that, we know the recovery process is going to take a little while. It says to construct a solar panel. Okay, let's go in here and construct a solar panel. See, nothing there to construct, so what is it talking about? It's talking about constructing one of these. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. It looks like there's no power going to this right now, so... Let me go ahead and put a little bit of fuel in here. That gives me six hours. Okay. And we're going to construct this solar panel. We, we've already got the gold and the chromatic metal. We just need a metal plate. So let's construct a metal plate. And we'll put it down. Just I'm going to put a whole bunch of different uh, storage units going out over this way. So I'm going to stick this over here. Now, it doesn't really count for much. We kind of need a battery. Do we have a battery somewhere? Let me just check. Yep, we do. And it's storing power, which is not a lot right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to hook this up to power with a little bit of wiring. And we'll hook it up straight to this particular wire junction here. So what is this doing? In the sunlight, it's pulling or generating about 50 kps. Uh, when it's at dawn or dusk, it pulls half that, and of course at night, obviously, you're not pulling anything. But it also generates more power a lot faster, as we can see. The storage is increasing much, much faster, and should charge this thing up and keep it going for quite a while. It's also why we have a switch here, so, because this thing eats power, this uh, terminal. So we have a switch here to turn it off and on, so we step on it. Yeah, see? Very nice. I like that, how that works. I always like the cleaner makeup. Now, the wire runs everywhere are ugly. We all know this. I could dig holes in the ground and bury the wires and stuff like that. But there's an item you can get, which I don't think we have yet. Yep, electrical cloaking unit, which we again make with gold and chromatic metal. I'm going to go ahead and construct one because I, I know we can get more gold and chromatic metal later on. And what does that do? Now, you can put it right out in the open if you want. I like to bury mine so you can't see it. So, of course, we're obviously going to pull a terrain manipulator. We'll dig a hole. Doesn't make a difference how deep it goes. Put it down here. Now, again, I could put it anywhere I want. I could put it side mounted. I could put it on top of the unit. I could put it on that building there. I could put it anywhere I want. Okay? But I'm going to put it down here. And I'm going to pull up my terrain manipulator. And I'm going to change. If you hit this, your, your center mouse button, you can change the different things that you can do with your terrain manipulator. you got regular hole. You've got a building component where it can actually build things, and it doesn't really use much. You can actually have a flattener, so you can flatten the land and clean it up. I think we've done that before. Or you have this, which fills in the holes. Your item isn't gone. And over time, usually over a week or two, No Man's Sky regenerates. So any holes that you dig, and this is very important, if you decide to make a, uh, a base in the side of a mountain and build into it, 
it all looks very, very pretty. But unfortunately, after a couple weeks, it's going to autofill. Just like when I place this down, you see how the land has overcome it and over and, and over uh, autofilled it in. So you don't have that anymore. Okay. But now that this is buried, what does it do? Where'd my wires go? It's an electrical wiring cloaking field. It makes the wires disappear so you can't see them unless I go into build mode and you see how they reappear. I'm out of build mode, they disappear. Pretty cool stuff, eh? So, anywho, what do we got in here? It's been a while, like I said. Okay, we got some scatter blaster, barrel ionizer, and advanced mining laser package. Okay, that must be for one of my other photon cannon and chrono resonator package. Uh, oh, and I'm using Infra Knife. Okay, 25,000 damage. Yeah, I think we're in good shape. Hey, guys. Okay, moving on. So, what happened with the base computer archive? Now that we've done that, auto, auto automatically is now checking to see when the next archive is. And you probably saw the message. I don't have it here anymore. Uh, regarding how much the recovery process is going to take. So, I'm going to check it out, and it's going to tell me interact with the computer one more time. You see it has the icon of it. Recovery data encrypted. Input recovery pass key to proceed. Oh my gosh, this is all new. I used GRA that time. Automatic recovery process. Data recovered 27% so far. New data available. Search archives. Follows. I glance back towards the wreck of my ship. Nothing more than a dot. Walking this plane for hours. Yet the mountains seem no closer. I look up to the sky. And that's where the archive ends. More construction uh, logs are recovered, so we're going to search those. Downloading plans. We've got a personal upgrade again, and we're going to retrieve. It's going to de defrag the next segment. This is all new. What used to happen is it used to be set on a timer. That's what we get this time. Scanner module. Let's see what it gives us. We'll probably get rid of one of these. Fauna award. I'm going to keep that one and get rid of the minerals because I really don't care. I could keep them both, obviously, but I'm going to go ahead and get rid of them to free up some space for upgrades. Okay, so that's all great and dandy. I think what's going on is it wants me to install a teleport receiver on my starship. Okay, so what would happen is I now have this new technology I can install. I need to require it requires that I, I make antimatter. So let's go ahead and make an antimatter real quick. Let's go ahead and install the teleport receiver. So this seems to be all new to the storyline. And now that this is done, I get an achievement at the top left, and I have to go back to the archives. See, the weird part is about the archives, it used to be built on a timer where it took about at least an hour or two hours of archive recovery. And I can keep going with this if I wish. We'll do it one more time. It follows. They came up from surrounded back above ground now, but surely they're following me. Should never have touched the eggs. Well, as you might imagine, that's recurrent to the monstrosities. So. It's, it tells the story of what happened to your character before, which is pretty cool and kind of creepy at the same time. Multi-tool de technology data, extracting downloads, neural stimulator, plants restored. Now those are handy, I will admit. Okay, next segment, leave. I'm going to go ahead and install it, but you know what I'm probably going to do? I am probably not going to continue on with this storyline, because we could sit here in front of these things, in front of the computer archives forever. I need to learn more words it said at the bottom right before I can uncover or uh, undo the archives. So that's all new. Very, very strange how they're doing that now. Again, it used to be on a, on a timer. So I'm not going to do Rebel Star yet. We're going to go ahead and go alone amidst the stars. Uh, we need to calibrate the translator. We need to talk to some people, correct? So if you'll notice, I got a red icon. It's sending me somewhere, so let's go check it out. Do do do. Looks like we've got a minor settlement over there that it's directing me at. 
that we've already been to. So that's, that looks like it might be directing me to the same place. Now, the reason it's a little off from the settlement is because it's directing me to a person inside an alien life form, in this case, inside the actual settlement. It says approximate location, so obviously it's coming here. Search the inhabited outpost to speak to the alien person inside. Mm -hmm. Oh, see? Regenerated. I've already, I've already got these before, but I'll get some again. Which means I can get these too. Always good to get the free stuff while it's there. Unless you're really not that desperate for stuff. Wow. Oh. Interloper, six, six, good. I'm not going to try those words. Interloping and all, that's all we got. Dialogue to help. I submit requests nervously, but enemy slayer Wei Fang adopts a gentle posture for one so intimidating. They teach me a word of their language and bow with respect. That's why I love these. I think the Viking are some of my favorites, to be honest with you. As I turn to leave, enemy slayer Wei Fang barks to stop me. They must have appreciated my interest in their history as they thrust me a chart with directions to an ancient relic. Oh, cool. And I learned the word will at the same time. And I got a planetary chart out of it. Cool. Alright. I'm not going to spend any time here. Let's move on. So you notice my translator at the bottom right. 33%. We could use that to get to... Use planetary chart to locate an ancient relic and learn words at the ancient relic. Oh, part of our mission. Uh, you can do it here and it'll do the pullback, but if you do it in your ship, it prevents the pullback from happening, so you just get it done. See? Where to? That way. Three minutes. It's a little too long to spend flying straight. So we pop out into space. You get that, that little extra pause as you cross the heliopause. And see, I'm on a moon, so much smaller. Yeah. <laughs> I love being on a moon, though. Oh, look at that. We've got a minor settlement right there, too. Interesting. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Now, unlike some things, this directs you straight to the object, so you don't have to search for it. I could have parked over there, but what's my uh, thruster at? 100%? Yeah, we're good. Plus, it auto-recharges here, so. Alright, here we go. <clears throat> the memories of a long-deceased tribe of Viking warriors flows from the stone marker, forming into a ghostly essence that fills me with wisdom. The Book of Herc speaks of the rise of the travelers. They shall ascend, delving into the boundless void. The Vikings shall not impede their ascent, for the travelers must prevail. So decrees the word of Herc. Now we could do one of two things here. We could seek help with language. Anytime you run across these, it's up, the choice is yours. For the storyline, we're purposely seeking help with language. So we have to choose that. If you do choose, seek knowledge of the past, it'll send you to another ancient burial area, like an old, old uh, run-down, um, half-buried uh, marker, and you can unbury it and find a treasure waiting there, which will give you a lot of money. We're not going to do that, obviously. We're going to seek help with the language. My knowledge of the Viking increases, is all it says. You have learned the Viking word for... Standing is increased with the Viking by doing so. You notice my translator is now calibrated to 66%. We should learn words from a knowledge stone, and that should be my third and last word. How do we find one of those? Look around. There's one right there, 146 distant. And there we go, we mark it. We use the center button to mark it with. Uh, e. We use E to mark it with as we're looking. Not the center button. Here's your knowledge stone. The Viking word for warrior. So you see that if you look for these across the landscape, you can learn words real easy as you're running across. So if you're looking for supplies and you're running across the landscape and you come across something, by all means, 
just grab the word it only takes a couple moments but that's also one of the smaller um i wouldn't even call it secondary mission i would call it like tertiary mission that you can get is learning words because you can get achievements for that like even though this is a brand new character you your your discoveries carry over so catalog and guide and i can go to words like the viking here you'll see that I have a decent standing, rank 4, and I haven't really competed in any missions, but I've learned 14 to 50 words so far. And that'll get me to the next standing in words learned. Um, on my main character, I've learned hundreds of Viking words, whereas when you talk to the Viking then, and you speak with them, most of their sandwich, sandwich, sandwich most of their sandwich is edible. That makes absolutely no sense, sorry about that. Most of their sentence is understandable. It no longer has garbage words in there or untranslated words in there that you can't understand. So, pretty cool. So you notice that my translator is now calibrated to 100%. I have to use C to locate an outpost. Large outpost detected. And follow the atlas symbol. says it'll take a little over a minute. We're going to go ahead and fly straight for now. I would go out into space and take it, but the thing I love about a moon as you're flying across it, this is a very pretty moon, by the way. Ah, sunrise. You see what I mean about this game? It really is, is <clears throat> just... I mean, look at that. I'm sorry. Got to get a picture of that. I wonder how far back it'll let me pull. I don't know if it will. You will get to a point where, yeah, see. That. Right there. Very pretty. That'll be uh, the thumbnail. Very nice. It just, it's so such a pretty world the whole the whole game is just it's aesthetically pleasing I think is the word I'm looking for there's a beauty to it <clears throat> you know me and uh, me and the family used to be uh, used to be we're still Disney uh, fans uh, hey look planetary archive those will never show up if you scan they'll never show up you just run across those they're kind of like just a regular ordinary trading post, the very large ones, but that one is just an enigma. It just pops out of the landscape. There's only a few per planet. And uh, there's the second one. So maybe I lied. Maybe this planet has more than one, but they're never usually so close together. And they always look a little different from each other. Procedurally generated, see? And that is... Ah, that's a place you can look for a crashed starship, too, if you want. And maybe we'll take a look at it on the way back. And we'll land at this platform, because this is obviously where it's sending us. These are great places to find ships if you want to buy one. Oh, looks like we got a... Another ship like my own about to land. Let's see if he takes a spot. Yes, he does. And then you scan them, and you can determine what kind of ship they are. If you really are interested in them, you can talk to the pilot, of course. Is that the same as mine? Not quite. Not quite. That actually has a little bit of a sharper look to it, I think, personally. Also A-class at 11 million. That's a stubby ship. 13 million fighter, but I don't really like that look. It's very similar to the ship you start out with, and I don't particularly care for them. Now, if you land on the landing pads, it will always have five ships landing here. There'll be three there, and usually a fourth over here, or... Yeah, and that's it. So you include the fifth ship, but if you land off the landing pad, if you land on the ground next to it, you'll get one extra ship landing here. It gives you more of a choice every single time. And they rotate out. They land, they stay for a little bit, they give you enough chance to run up and talk to them, they leave. Very simple. Now, I'm supposed to talk to somebody. Here they are. Ra, interloper. 
such little honor, thy keen are unimpressed. What does this mean? Through the garble of Artemis translator, it is clear that I am not that I am yet to make an impact among the Vikings. I need to improve my reputation rank. So this is where I knew it was going anyway. So we're going to leave. We have to imp increase our reputation. Now it says there at the bottom right, raise your standing with the Viking by two. You have to raise this by going to the mission boards on the space stations. All missions performed on the mission board will raise your standing with not just the Viking but with others as well. Okay, so you have to watch those. I've met ten aliens, so I've read enough another achievement. I get one star. Yay! That's great. So, we can go to the guide and learn more about standing, but this isn't that kind of tutorial. We're going to go ahead and continue on with the main storyline. And I may have to take a pause here soon, but we'll go ahead and get this going. Alright, so we're heading to the space station. Love the way those ships pop in. Ugh, just makes everything shake, though. Very loud. And we're going to head towards the space station now. A couple different ways we could have done that. You notice I did leave back behind that crashed starship. I'm not that interested in it, as you can tell. Now, we could have went back to our base and took a portal to the space station. We'll take one back. It'll be easier. But we'll take it this way, too. Not Like I said, I'm not very impressed by square solar sails, but I still love the solar ships. They're my favorites still. Though, uh, there's some pretty cool fighters out there, as you saw on my main save. So, I do like those, too. So, let's see if we can get one mission under my belt before I have to make a pause here. We'll kind of keep this uh, recording to a minimum. We're almost at about a half hour right now, so maybe we'll get a couple of these knocked out. Just to show you what it's like, and then I'll, I'll pause. And Jeez. That's another thing that I had to go into programming all that. Uh mission board. Is that this side? I think it is. Yeah, no, it's got a symbol there for Pete's sake. Hi guys. Hello, excuse me. So there's a mission agent. So you notice that it gives you the types of ones these are supposed to be. So this is a level four, four Viking mission. So performing this mission will increase my standing of the Viking, but there's no other Viking missions. So keep that in mind. And you want to look for one that's going to be Viking standing. So we have to take a photo of an observatory. That seems pretty simple. We're going to get some decent amount of credits out of it, and we'll get some other items. So we'll get the credits, the units, if you will, and we'll also get the Viking standing. So we'll go ahead and do it. We select it. Let's move on. I'll show you how this works. Jump in your ship. Head out. Take a photo of an observatory. The client has provided approximate coordinates. So you see the photo icon at the top left? Wow, this is getting louder. I think I may have to adjust the volume on this. Let's adjust the volume just a little bit. That is way too loud. There. I don't mind the music. We'll just drop that down a little bit. So that's where we're headed. And we're on our merry. Photographic target. Arrive in 30 seconds. Hironi 6. It's got copper, mordite, magnetized ferrite. It's a quagmire planet. No, not that quagmire. And yes, I will make that joke every time. Get off my back. I can, I can hear you saying it. I can hear you saying it. And insertion into the atmosphere. I don't like landing upside down or flying through the atmosphere upside down. I don't know what it is. Let's head straight down and take a little bit of a closer look. So it's right here, but we're going to keep our eyes open on what looks like an archive because that says approximate location. Sometimes you can pick it up. Looks like we got one right over there. Let's see if that's the case. A 
I do like the bank every now and then. So, is that it? That is definitely not it. There's another one over there. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and do the search this time, but we're going to utilize this as a landing platform so we don't use our launch thrusters, I think. Sometimes it doesn't show up immediately because being part of a mission... Oh, it is directing us here. Oh, okay, I thought observatory... Ah, I'm not thinking right, I'm thinking one of those... Uh, one of those really tall cylindrical things that goes up in the air that you can talk on like when we're talking to Artemis. My bad. While we're here, I always like to hit the save charts because you get a couple free items out of it. You get not only saved, not that kind of saved. You get a restore point, you get navigation data for free, and you get about 10 nanites every single time. Okay, and if you're having trouble with your health, you can get your health maximized depending upon what's floating there. So we need to take a picture of this. Okay, let's do something here. I could just snap a quick shot of it and disappear, but you know what? Let's be at least a little bit aesthetically pleasing. Okay, how about we get a picture of myself in it? What do you say? Oop. I'm going to set this to that. Why? So let's go like this. Watch this. And we'll pull back. Should we adjust the sun a little bit? Up it a little bit higher. Maybe this direction. There we go. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Not really. But hey, let's take the picture anyway. And if you get the timing right, there you go. So have fun with the cameras. That's what I do. I s so uh, maybe it's going to be another archive. Another, uh, another not archive, thumbnail. Okay, so now we go back to the space station. And... Got to look at the time, because I got something I got to do in just a few minutes. Let's go head back to the space station. Get a report to the mission agent. And that's how these things go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the second one, and I'll come back. Return to our mission agent. So we got 30 seconds. Yeah. planet. <clears throat> Looks like a frozen one. Glacial or something like that. Frozen planet, yeah. It's got dioxide, which is good for recharging your uh, uh, life support. Oxygen does the same thing, but dioxide does it with uh, less. So a little more efficient, I think is the right word. Sorry, my voices are a little bit rough in the morning. I'm going to ignore them right now because I do need to get to this mission agent and get done with this. There we go. Come on, baby. There we go. All right. <clears throat> so we're going to pause here for just a moment, and I'll be right back with everybody. And we're back. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this turned in. It's amazing, no time passed for you, right? Alright, so we come to the mission agent, and we turn in our mission. You see mission complete. And hand in the mission. So that gives us to one. So we're going to do one more. 
Hmm, I was going to do this on my own. Oh, look, we'll get a multi-tool expansion slot out of this, too. Huh. So let's go ahead and grab it. Hunt low-level pirates. Gladly. And you know what? I was just going to do this on the side, but this is always kind of fun. No harm in showing you how it's done if you haven't done it yourself. So this is a locate a bounty target. We don't have to go to the planet. We have to... I'm going to go back to first-person view. I prefer to fight in first-person view. I don't know why. See, we're going to get 207,000 units for taking this guy out. Now, it'll be several waves. Wow, this is taking a little longer than I expected there. There we go. Ah. What you do is you look for... Yeah, nice little derelict ship. This is really kind of crazy. Look, let's take a look from the distance there. That's really cool looking. Plus, you're in the middle of a storm, too. You notice that the pirates aren't showing up. Why is that? You have to scan. So hit, the, hit your C button, and any second. You know what happened? I think this appeared at the point at which the pirates were supposed to appear. So, yeah, that's kind of crazy. Let's just go ahead and... There we go. Well, let's go back. Yeah, that's what happened. Okay, this keeps appearing, but we're not getting our pirate. But yet there seems to be a pirate right there. Is that who I'm going for? Let's check it out real quick. Let's find out. I don't know if it's related or not. I guess we'll find out in a minute. Come on, baby. Get a little closer. Can't be it. Wow. Okay, no, that wasn't it. That was just unrelated. How weird. Let's see if we can get this to work right. Because we keep coming across that ship and nothing is appearing as it should be except we keep coming across that derelict freighter. Sometimes there's a couple of cargo containers you blow out of the sky and then they appear. Yep, same thing. Ah, there we go. That's what was supposed to happen. Did I just take them both out? Son of a gun. So like I said, several waves. Whoop. Oh, I got three of them this time. Where did the other guy go? There you go. There we go. Watch your shields. Oh well, we're gonna get that guy in a minute. Let's get this guy. 
Where'd you go? See, my shields are getting low, and I should recharge them, but let's see how well we do. There we go. So you can do that on the fly. Use sodium, or you can use a shield battery to get there. Now, these ships tend to have... Solar ships tend to have weaker shields than fighters. Okay, so standing's been increased again. We should get the end of mission signal. There we go. Well, that's going to be for the amount of ships knocked down. 30 starships. Let's wait. Maybe our... No? Yeah, 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 I get it. Okay, that's not going to go away. Okay, so now we've got the end of mission. And it should... There we go. So let's... While we're on our way back, let's see what we got as far as goodies are concerned. Uh, pulse engine. Oh, 50,000 units. That's pretty good. Ooh, looks like we're going to need... Keep those. Okay, good. So let's go ahead and install this. Pulse drive. We're running out of room, aren't we? Let's get on board our space station. And reorganize that real quick. Once we get more ship inventory space, it's a good reason to find some derelict ships. That way you can get some inventory space later on. Uh, we're going to move some stuff around. Looks like we don't have a spot available here. Uh, let's see. I've got these things packed in really tight, don't I? Um, let's move you. Move you up here to make you join and move you back over here. Okay, that'll work for me. What is this giving us? Hmm, not bad. Maneuverability is increased. Okay. Hyperdrive. We could really use the hyperdrive upgrades. Okay. Let's go up here. mission agent. We'll complete this. Even though our, our standing has gone up several because of everything that we've done, we still have to do these specific missions to complete the storyline. And in the mission, we're done. It should tell us the mission's complete. We can head back to that fellow there. So let's get this stage done and we'll, we'll call it for this particular episode. So we see standings improved. Translator calibration 100%. We're going to return to that same alien life form. We'll go the long way, because that's what we've been doing. All right. So that's something that you have to note. So you notice we don't have a lot of room up here. We've got one, two, three more spots we can fill in over here, and we can keep going. We can have as many as, as 60 technology spots. Each of these is 10 across, so it goes three more rows down after that. And then there's about a, a hundred different spots you can have down here. Not quite a hundred. I think on this ship it's a little bit less. But we need to sell these at some point. Uh, we do need to put that in, so we should probably get that done when we get a chance. We're running low on silver and gold both. We could probably use both at some point. Anywho, um, I was not headed for there. You know what? You're in the way. We'll put you over here. Oh, there we go. There we go. Sometimes if, if your anomaly gets in the way, just quickly make it pop up someplace else. There we go. What a beautiful planet. Moon, moon. Beautiful moon. I bet. All right, so let's get this taken care of. We'll talk to Artemis one more time. Hey, buddy. As I approach the life form, they spit onto their own palm and bow to me. They issue only a single noise. Rah! It is unclear if Artemis' translator is working. Spit and bow to the life form. So we're going to do the same thing. Gra! Death! Death! spit and bow to the life form again. 
Interloper should calm down instead. Gra, Interloper should learn manners. Death, death. So we're not going to spit and bow to the life form. We'll headbutt him. I headbutt the life form. They do not move. They do not register any pain. They just stare at me for a while. Eventually they laugh. Gra, ha, ha, ha. Amusing. Ask your question, pathetic Interloper. I shall answer. So I've impressed him a little bit. Give the star chart. I asked the life form to decode Artemis' star chart to provide a route to their location, or route, depending on how you like to say it. What is this nonsense? This location does not exist, or the Viking would know. Now, I could ask if they could have made a mistake, but I'm not going to do that. Anytime I've ever chosen that, it's always insulted the person. Just thank them, and leave. Ah, do not thank. Leave. <laughs> Viking are cool. Hey, while we're here, let's go ahead and get rid of these things, and we'll go ahead and talk to Artemis and tell him what's going on. Sell. Uh, I don't know if it's in my main inventory. I think it's still in my ship inventory. Yeah, it is. Starship inventory. Yep. Hey, we get a good 26.3% increase, so we get a good chunk of change for that. Uh, and I don't really need the Gek Relics. We're good. Okay. Anything we can buy here while we're here? Uh, we could go for some exosuit upgrade ch charts if we want and get our exosuit upgraded. Chromatic metal is always needed. Let's go ahead and grab some while we're here. Uh, ferrite dust I could always use. Pugnium I'm going, to, I'm going to go ahead and grab for now because I just think we might need some later on down the road. Chlorine I'm not as interested in. If I was looking to make money I would worry about it, but I'm not interested in that right now. Okay, we'll worry about the other stuff later. Okay, so we're done. Let me just check my inventory real quick. There goes my... Do I want to put this on me? Yeah, I got 900 right now. Let's go ahead and stick it in my inventory. And Pugnium as well. My Exosuit has more room in it at the moment anyway, because I've upgraded it quite a bit. Okay. Let's go ahead and jump on the ship. We're going to go ahead and bring the news to Artemis, and we'll call this episode at that point. Return to space. <clears throat> and there, there's the message. There you are. I found high ground, I think. When you arrive, I'll fire my multi-tool into the air to mark my location. What's wrong? Why aren't you saying anything? Tell Artemis what happened. I tell Artemis the locals could not decipher their star chart. The alien even went so far as to claim those stars did not exist. That's impossible. I can't have traveled that far from a charted space. You found my ship. Now I could suggest the locals are wrong or ask how Artemis got there. Let's ask how Artemis got there. As I speak, the line begins to crackle with interference. Artemis looks up at the stars in panic. The stars? They've altered since I made that chart. Blinked out in... How is this possible? What's happening to me? I need to get out of here. I need to... He started to panic, basically. It is quiet at first, but it is there, unmistakable, growing steadily louder with each passing moment. A sound beneath their words, as a sound as if glass could scream. That's pretty creepy, isn't it? You could ask what's happening, comfort Artemis, or remain silent. I'm going to ask what's happening. They're coming for me. I can see them, smell them. I discovered the glyphs for a portal traveler, a gateway between worlds. I thought it would lead me to another of our kind, but now I don't even know if the voice was real. The pathway collapsed while I was still inside. I found this place in the darkness. I thought perhaps it was a planet. I, I was so wrong. I, I can see their faces. I, there are seeds of glass within their... As for the glyphs, they're gone. My data fragmented in the... I just wanted to discover worlds. I wanted to find other travelers. I didn't... Sixteen. Warn your face. It, Please, not yet. I'm not... The signal cuts off. As it crackles into oblivion, I hear a name through the static. Apollo. Register the ID. A frequency for Apollo has been added to my holo terminus contacts. So, what you just saw happen is... Artemis was going through a portal and the portal disengaged as he was en route. 
Artemis. What do you think happened to Artemis? So it's telling us to bring the news to Artemis signal to Nada, and that's where we're going to end this. Let's go to the anomaly. Now it's important to go ahead and follow through on these because you get that thing we were talking about. You get Quicksilver every single time you bring it, bring them news about stuff. When they tell you to bring the news, that's when you get the Quicksilver. So, yeah, Artemis, uh, it's not good news for him. What, the farthest place in the whole thing? I love it. Nobody here. I'm not in multiplayer right now. There is no one here. But yeah, just put me all the way over here. What do I care? We could get the Twitch rewards. Yes, I know. What have you learned, Traveler? What generates Artemis Entity's signal? Mention the portal. I tell Nada how we failed to understand Artemis' location. I explain their strange messages. Apollo and the portal glyphs. Nada pauses. Their lights blink as they process this information. Artemis slips between worlds into the data fall. Our home lives in these spaces, but these holes are stable, small. Nada is worried, Traveler. Cracks between the iterations should not widen. It will not help us. Artemis Entity still does not remember Nada? Say they did not. This is a puzzle, a trap. A trap? Or a tragedy? Apollo Entity is unknown to Nada, more puzzling still. If Traveler Entity is curious, Nada has advice. The rampant crimson is the work of Atlas Falsity. Other Korvax say deity, Nada knows better. Atlas False Entity hunts Nada, but Traveler may seek them out, draw them away. So what does that mean? Atlas is supposedly the main brain behind all this, almost like a supreme being, if you will. You'll learn more as we get into this. Um, so what Nada is saying is that they're hiding from him in the, on this anomaly in a space between worlds, and that Atlas is looking for Nada, and he's trying to continue to hide from him. And he's asking me to draw Atlas away by searching for Atlas. So that's something that we can do in the Atlas path, if we wish. Let's talk to them. Now you notice I got another 150 Quicksilver, so that was cool. Let's talk to Polo real quick. Boundaries are strange things, traveler friend. Most things stay where they belong. Other things, our home, Atlas, and now Artemis friend, slip between. Curious. So what do we ask about? Since we're going to continue with the main storyline, we're going to choose number one. Ask about portals. Just devices, traveler friend, to be understood, copied, advanced. That is all we can do with this universe. Yes? Appreciate it. And that's it. So now it continues that storyline. Now, we can talk to others while we're here. It doesn't give us, it's, it's optional, but we're not going to do that just yet. So we're going to go back here. We're going to choose ghosts in the machine. We have to locate and activate a hollow terminus, and we're going to be talking to Apollo next. But we're not going to do that today. We're going to do that in our next episode. So I want to thank you all for watching. Uh, this is episode 7 of the regular playthrough series and the newest version of No Man's Sky. So again, we're going to end here. We want to thank you again for watching. Please hit the like button. That really helps us out as uh, streamers and or as uh, video producers, if you will. And it also helps everything as a whole in regards to the No Man's Sky universe. Thank you very much. Please hit the subscribe button if you wish. I look forward to doing more videos with you. Take care. And like I always say, never criticize kindness and always be true in all things that you do, especially to yourself. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.